Hey what's up everyone? I'm Dark Barbarian, and welcome back to another base building video. Today, we're creating a brand new Town Hall 5 base. Like my other layouts, this one is also a hybrid base, which means you'll be able to protect your loot while also maintaining your trophies. If you want to understand how this base actually works, be sure to check out the base analysis section of the video. Instead of just blindly copying the layout, it's essential to grasp its mechanics. Now, let's dive into the base analysis. As you can see, the town hall is nicely protected in the central part of the base, just like my other hybrid base designs. This positioning is crucial to keep it safe since it's worth one star and holds a decent amount of loot. Now, let's talk about the defenses. They've been strategically placed to cover the entire base and ensure it stays strong from all sides. At town hall 5, the main defenses to focus on are the Mortar, Air Defense, and Wizard Tower. These three defenses are positioned near the center of the base, close to the Town Hall. Let's begin with Mortar, it is placed on the left side, and from here its range covers all the defenses along with all outer buildings placed on the left side of the base which helps us in dealing with spam attacks like Barch, G-Barch and Mass Goblins that try to barge into our base from that side. Next up is the air defense, which boasts an impressive range that covers a large portion of the base. At Town Hall 5, this defense can deal a massive 90% damage to a balloon with just one shot. When teamed up with the Archer Tower, it becomes a formidable force against balloons. Now on to the most important defense in this base. The Wizard Tower is the only splash damage defense at Town Hall 5 that can attack both ground and air troops. Its range covers the other main defenses like air defense and other defenses like this archer tower and cannon. 
Now you might be thinking that opponents can take down all three main defenses just by dropping lightning spells in the center. Well that is only true, if those three defenses are not upgraded, once they are upgraded, even if other TH5 opponents drop both their lightning spells in the center, that won't be enough to take them out completely, so make sure to upgrade your mortar, wizard tower and air defense as soon as possible. Archer towers are placed out in such a way that their range covers the whole base, enforcing that the base is effectively protected against air attacks from all sides. Cannons occupy the remaining areas in the base, providing a perfect balance that helps us in defending against ground attacking troops. Now, coming to the storages, they are placed in different compartments. Unlike the bases you usually see where most of the storages are placed in a single compartment. Storage is placed in a different compartment which means the opponent has to take out the whole base in order to get all the loot. We've also placed the storages alternatively, so that even if the opponent takes out this portion of the base, we don't lose all the storages of the same kind of resources. For example, if we put all the gold storages on this side of the base, the attacker can take almost all your gold just by taking out this portion of the base. And if we are losing the loot, it's better to lose it in a balanced way rather than losing all the loot of one kind of resource. So to avoid that, we place them alternatively, just like our base. Now coming to the placement of the traps, we have placed those spring traps right there in the center, so that it doesn't matter where the opponent is starting their attack from. Their troops will eventually have to step on them while moving around the base, which will reduce their army count by a lot. And those bombs out there so that they can take out the wall breakers, which can potentially ruin attacker's funnel as the troops wouldn't be able to go inside the base and they'll end up going for the outer trash buildings which will end up ruining the attack. Those air bombs are places there, after observation of so many attacks on this base and they reduce the health of balance which directly helps our air defense. Coming to the outer buildings, I've placed them alternatively, such as avoiding placing the same type of collectors close to one another. I see most people not putting enough thought into those outer buildings, so they end up placing the same type of collectors altogether. These collectors become an easy target to attackers when placed together, so it's important to spread them out to make it harder for opponents to take them out. That's it for the base analysis. I've left a copy link for this base in the description so that you guys can easily copy this base, I'll see you guys in the next one.